As many people are making plans for their weekend ahead and check in with Natasha. Yes, uh, going up to Mount Hood Meadows. It's 45 degrees right there up at the base at 5,200 feet. So freezing levels closer to about 7,000 feet at the moment. Of course, you can see here we have more of that rain falling, but you go just a little bit above the tree line and you have snow falling up there. So perhaps by the time we get to Sunday and clear things out, we'll be able to see a fresh layer, thin layer of snow up there at our mountain peaks. Lincoln City right now, definitely a cloudy day out there. You can barely tell the difference between the horizon and uh, the ocean. It's 60 degrees, wind out of the southwest at six miles per hour. It's been a pretty blustery day out there today. Rain total so far since midnight. We've picked up almost a half inch of rain in Newport. Not much for you, Eugene. Salem, though, coming in almost four tenths of an inch. Same for you, Aurora. Over to Tillamook, this is very close to what was modeled for today. Almost a full inch of rain at this point, and we still have a few more hours to go before we end the day. Uh, Portland coming in at almost eight tenths of an inch, as well as Hillsboro. Troutdale at about a half inch. Hood River, a quarter of an inch. Scapoose. About four tenths of an inch. Kelso, not much for you. Only a few hundredths of an inch. Astoria, now over just a half inch of rain so far. And we're not quite done with the rain just yet. The heaviest stuff has already passed through. As we look out to the northwest, you'll notice the darker looking clouds out there to the northeast. Now, what are we looking for for the rest of tonight? Showers do continue on and off. It'll still be pretty breezy. We're still seeing gusts out there up to about 20 miles per hour. But, but by the time we get to Sunday, It'll feel dramatically different, but this is what we're tapping into this atmospheric river right here. So thousands of miles of moisture just sitting in the Pacific heading our direction. The only time it's going to stop is when we get a ridge of high pressure to kind of bubble this out and then it's going to track further to the north. But until then, we continue with these showers on and off. Had a few lightning strikes earlier today in western Washington, but other than that, it's been a pretty quiet, just a lot of rain and quite a bit of wind for us overall. Moving into tonight through tomorrow morning, those showers continue. It's not really going to start to dry out until we get closer to those early morning hours Sunday. But most of that rain is going to be focused on the northwest corner. Not much happening for you really south of Salem. Something else to mention, some pretty big waves out there, about 14 feet for us at the moment. Looking at our local uh, buoys offshore, uh, getting gusts not too bad now, about uh, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Water temperature 58 degrees and further out beyond, beyond that point, we have wave heights up to about 15 feet overall. We'll see those uh, waves kind of decrease by the time we get to Sunday. So if you're heading out there, just be aware of the possibility of some sneaker waves even through tomorrow. So tomorrow morning, a few showers still left over, but most areas drying out by the time we get to tomorrow night. So tomorrow's high only 66 degrees. Now keep in mind our normal daytime high this time of year is about 72. We're closer to that by the time we get to Sunday. Partly cloudy skies, overnight temperatures in the low 50s. Then we go into Monday. Now we're up to 80 and we're still warming up here. Tuesday, 84 degrees. Notice as we get to Wednesday, 83, the first day of October, we're going to be at 84. Friday still holding on to sunny conditions and 82. It was overnight temperatures in the low 50s. So I don't know if you guys have any plans for the weekend, but if it's happening on Sunday, Sunday could not be more perfect in my opinion. Yeah, you know what? I need to go for a run and I don't have excuses at this point for Sunday especially. <laughs> no excuses. <laughs> All right. Thanks, Natasha.